Now that you know a little better about how to think going into this course and the rest of your life, it's really important to know what kind of learner you are. So in the PDF that I made for you at the bottom, there's a section that says my favorite resources. So in there, look for the section that says learning styles. And I have a lot of links to quizzes where you can take them and learn your learning style. So these are called multiple intelligences. And these are amazing because I'm just really surprised that so many people go their whole lives without understanding how they learn. And this again has to do with traditional learning where you sit in a classroom and you have to do what you're told. But now you don't. Now we can design something that's specifically for you. When you take these tests, and I have some at different levels. So if your English is very strong, you know, do whichever one you want. If your English is not as strong, if a quiz seems too hard, try a different link because I have some that are um, a little more intermediate level and some that are advanced. Now, when you learn about your learning style, you'll find out, are you a visual learner? And if you are, then you know that you need more pictures, more videos. Uh, some people learn better by listening. So podcasts would be amazing for you. Other people learn by doing. So maybe building something as you're learning, or like we said before, watch a video about how to make something. People that are tactile, they learn better when they can feel, they can touch. Other people learn when they're moving. So some of you dance, <laughs> put an English video on and dance the whole time or watch a dancing video in English. So learning how you learn will help you stay excited because you'll understand, oh, this is why I'm always bored studying flashcards. It's just writing that's boring. For a visual learner, you would probably do better by adding pictures to your flashcards or watching videos. Okay, so now you know how to think, what to think, what not to think, and it kind of gives you an idea about what to expect with this method and this course. So now, go take the learning quiz that's best for you. Remember, if it's too hard, pick a different link and figure out what kind of learner you are. This will help us with goal setting later on and resources that are exciting for you. Good luck. What type of learner are you? So remember to go to the resources page and take a learning style quiz. This is really important because if you know how you learn best, you can pick the best resources for your learning. And when you find out what kind of learner you are, remember to put it in the PDF so we can keep track of your results and design the best learning plan for you.